So I was discussing about the basics of uh, the second generation uh, uh, test that we have available. We have available so far Pasran C, A, B, F. But you need to understand that we need to find out CIPS test. Uh, so this is this is Patran CADF test can be used uh, if cross-sectional dependence is found. This is the test uh, which we can install in uh, Stata, and we have already installed it. Uh, in in that case, uh, we need uh, also check the panel co-integration. This is the another procedure. If you are going to use the Pasran CADF test, then you need also check the uh, uh, the panel co integration test as a second step. So it it has mentioned here that in the second step, averaging across all NNT statistic for p yield a statistic with tabulated bootstrapping non standard null distribution is a technical language. So we need to find out the panel co-integration test also. Uh, what is the procedure here? Uh, in, in case of CIPS test, we have two options. If we found stationary at uh, level, uh, like DV at level and IVs at level, we, we are going to use common correlation effect. And if we we have uh, DV stationary at first level and IV is stationary at zero and first level, it means mix, then we are going to use dynamic common correlation effect. So in this case, there is a simple co common correlation effect. And in this case, there is a dynamic common correlation effect. But we will see uh, how they, they are applied. First, you, we need to sort out what kinds of options do we have available in case of uh, uh, panel uh, panel second generation? Then you uh, need to apply the Petroni test for panel co integration also. This is another procedure. I will let you know uh, how these are applied. Uh, there are a lot of options available here, but we need to understand uh, this command first. This is a stata module of CADF panel unit to test in the presence of cross sectional dependence. So, if you found a cross sectional dependence in your data set, then you are going to use this procedure. So, how can we apply this procedure? I will let you know. There are a lot of detail here, but this is going to be the part of your uh, procedure here. In case of uh, first generation panel unit root test, you need to consider the test in this format, LLC, IPS, FDF. But in case of uh, second generation panel unit root test, you need to consider the lags. So there is a difference between first generation and second generation. In case of second generation, we need to consider the labs. So uh, let us start from our data set without uh, wasting any time. So let's start from our data set. We have a data set which is basically fulfilling the condition n greater than 25 and p greater than 25. So this is the data set I have shared with you. So let's copy this data set into Stata. And let's start the procedure. The first thing that we need to do is to declare our data set to be uh, a panel data set for Stata. So we need to put this data into Stata first in order to uh, allow this procedure. <clears throat> so copy this data set and now open the data editor, control V. It is asking that the first row should be variable name, yes. So after uh, doing this, the first thing that you need to do is to save this data set, like uh, save. 
and it, it, it will asking you uh, at where you want to save this data set. This is basically the middle income economies data set. You just need to save it. So it is saved now. Go to the main window. Always remember whether it is uh, n greater than 25 or it is n less than 25. Always remember that you need to declare your data set to be panel first. So what we need to do here, we need to write here XT test, uh, sorry, XT set. Uh, then click on ID and click on years. This is basically the identification of countries here. And it is the identification of time dimension here. Press enter and your data set is now recognized as a panel in this data. Now, uh, before applying the usual procedure, always remember that CD test is basically the assumption that we test when uh, our fixed effect or random effect is finalized uh, in, in usual procedure. So first we need to apply the uh, routine procedure here. Uh, we need to write xt rec, put the dependent variable, then put the independent variable uh, one by one like this. We need to click on your independent variable. Your dependent variable should be placed right after xt rec command. And then you need to uh, place the independent variable one by one, then put comma and place fe here. FE stand for fixed effect. Now press enter and uh, you will find uh, the estimations of fixed effect. Now write estimate store fix. Uh, now you can run XT rec command for random effect. You can copy the previous command. Like this. You can copy the commands and you can replace the FE with RE for random effect. STMA store random. Effect. Now you need to apply the postman fix random. And uh, the P value here states that you need to use uh, the fixed effect model here. So once it is finalized, that fixed effect uh, is the final model. Uh, you, you need to test the CD test. It is the assumption that we are going to use when a fixed effect or random effect is finalized. Whichever the test is finalized, you need to consider this uh, uh, assumption. Yes, this one. This is the basic assumption that you need to test here after your fixed effect or random effect is final. So our fixed effect is final. So in, in order to test the cross-sectional dependence as a starting point for our today's discussion, we need to use XT rec dependent variable, independent variable fixed effect, and then this command for cross-sectional dependence. So uh, we need to run the fixed effect command again. There is the fixed effect command. And always remember that whenever you need to finalize fixed effect, always add VCE robust. It will basically fix the uh, heterocidasticity in the model estimation. So after doing this, as a first step of cross-sectional dependency, you need to run this test. So you can copy it from here and you need to put it here like this. So if you see the P value, PR value, it is less than 5%. So what does it mean? If P value is less than 5% or PR value is less than 5%, it means there is cross-sectional dependence in our panel. So here we have confirmed uh, this scenario, if we see if cross-sectional dependence is found, you need to use the second generation panel unit root testing here. 
if if PR value is greater than 5%, then you can go to this direction. But somehow we need to consider this direction. We need to use the second generation panel unit load testing. So as uh, the time for today's discussion is over, uh, so uh, we will consider the further procedure tomorrow regarding how to apply the second generation panel unit load testing using Stata. And we will also consider uh, uh, if, if the condition fulfilled with PV uh, uh, and IVs, both are stationary at zero level, uh, then we need to estimate the common correlation effect. But if uh, uh, the DVs and IVs, uh, DV is uh, stationary at first level and IVs are stationary at mixed level, then we are going to use the dynamic common correlation effect. So I will let you know uh, tomorrow this procedure because today's uh, discussion time is over. So we, we will discuss uh, the further procedure tomorrow, but it is confirmed that we need to apply the second generation panel unit to test uh, with this data. So uh, do you have any question Rakar, for today's discussion? All right, then uh, we, we, uh, we can conclude this session and we will uh, continue from here tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much and stabilize.